good afternoon and welcome to my channel um this is a project share for our first or my first prompt or our first prompt in wally steph's art club um the prompt the first prompt was summer and we had to do a page of what summer meant to us so my page probably looks a bit weird to most people, but it is what some are meant to us. So I made my journal um, slightly bigger than what Steph did hers. My pages are five inches. So um, I've cut my paper inside to be four and a half. Um, I do have an art journal, um, but it's longer and probably as wide as this but there's more page to work on. So I find it quite difficult to be working on something so small, but I think that is the idea to limit of what we're putting on it. So I decided to use my watercolors, which I'm, I'm still a novice in. I prefer using my watercolors, uh, watercolor pencils, which I probably should have been used, but I didn't. So the brighter colours have been done with my Ecoline pens um, and the pearlised colours have been done with my pearlised watercolour paints. So first up, I've made like a sand and a sea. Well, it's supposed to be the sea, but it looks probably more like the sky now, but it is supposed to be the sea in the background. Um, I did use this stencil. Um, if you can see that it's wave stencil um in blue and white i have a, a white ink um to make waves and then i decided i would add texture as well so here i've used champagne colored um glass glitter so it's that one the stampendous champagne crushed glass glitter I've also used gold, are they gold? Yeah. So I've also used gold caviar beads and iridescent caviar beads. In So the iridescent is in the sea and the, the gold ones are sort of edging the sand. And I use, I, I got this ages ago. It came free with an order um, from crafter's companion it's the first time i've used a cra crafter's companion or a gemini um stamp and die set and i was quite disappointed the stamps don't actually stick on the stamping pad pad um or or my stamping platform they kept falling off so that was a big fail and when you use the dies they didn't match up with the stamps so I had to cut them anyway. So I'd have probably been better off cutting them in the first place. So <clears throat> what does summer mean to me? Um, we used to, um, whenever we went on holiday, we'd go to um, Devon and Cornwall. Um, and it was where we went every year. We went with my in-laws at the time. Um, and we used to have a great time on holiday. Um invariably in this country and probably other countries um by the sea you always get the camper vans and it was always a dream of ours is to have a to own a camper van and to tour the coast of the uk um but life never happens the way you want it to be so you know the chances of me having a camper van are zero anyway so i um got the tattered lace magazine i don't normally buy tattered lace magazines um but it had i spotted this die in it which is the camper van and it wasn't until i got it home that i realized it was the charisma die which means in in the pack you know you've got, you got loads of papers with it you get the charisma um for you to cut out and use with the die and they're already colored in and if you you can download them and there's um <clears throat> different colourways online and you get all the pages there was like ones with florals all with the camper vans in 
um, big and small. So there was various papers. I think it's 18 papers altogether that you can download um, to use with the die. Um, and that was in the magazine. So that is why there's a, a rather large camper van there. But where we used to go, you would always see um, the camper van because of the surfers. Um, so they were, you know, it was something that we did. We did camper van watching. Um, <clears throat> one of the holidays that as a family we talked about and we still talk about is we went, to, we liked Woolacombe, which is in Devon, North Devon. Um, and one year we hired a, a beach shirt for the week and we had a great time. We were never the family that took just a towel to the beach. When we went to the beach, you had the windbreaker, the chairs, you name it, we took it. Um, and when we had the beach hut, we were able to leave everything in, in the hut overnight and for the week. Um, and my father-in-law used to um, do a lot of camping or caravanning. So they always took the stove. Um, so we would have, so he would cook bacon sandwiches or batches and we would have like fresh tea and coffee all day. Um, so that's why the beach hut is there um, and obviously you know there's our deck chair and our umbrella and the sandcastle that the children used to make and the ice cream and the lollipop that we'd invariably eat when we were at the beach. I, there's my bucket, I do have a spade but when I went to stick it on I seem to have lost my spade. Um, so that is my first entry um, in my journal um f for what summer means to me so it's family family time away um doing what we enjoy doing um spending time on the beach visiting different areas mainly devon and cornwall um all different parts of devon and cornwall and having an absolute fabulous time we used to leave the house at sort of straight after breakfast and not return till night time um, so, you know, we had, we had a great time on holidays. Um, so that's why I've done a beach scene. Um, so I do hope you like it. Please be kind. Um, I'm a complete novice in watercolours, as you can tell by my painting. Um, I do use texture. I, I do like um, using... Oh, and I've put on my... If you can see, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. In the sea there, I have actually used some of the diamond dust which if you're not familiar with diamond dust it has this absolute glorious oh, it's all mixed up now it has an amazing sparkle and i love diamond dust um it is crushed glass the same as the champagne one but they're bigger shards so you do have to be careful when you've got pets and that in the house but if you use it sparingly um and push it down into the glue then you shouldn't really um f get any falling off or anything i've never been cut with it some parts some bits of it are sharp but it's never cut me um these this champagne glass crush, crush glass is a lot smaller pieces and it seems not as sharp as the d diamond dust i had great fun with the balls it's the first time i've used the caviar beads and I had them everywhere. I do actually have a glitter tray, um, but it's sat. This is what's in my glitter tray. Um, and I can't be bothered. I need to clean that first and empty it um, before I can um, use it for its intended purpose. It's just sat there. Um, so there we go. So I'm gonna put that in my for, for my first page. I'm looking forward to the next prompt. Um, if you want to see what everyone um, else has done, um, there is a hashtag. Um, and let me see if I wrote the hashtag down. No, I didn't. It is WS in capital art. Club, I think is what it is. I will write it on the title, but it's Woolly Steph's Art Club. Um, there are quite a few of us taking part. Um, and if you want to take part, you can join in at any time. 
Steph will be doing prompts every two weeks. You don't have to do it every week. You can just, you know, come in and out as you please. Um, Steph does have a tutorial on her channel um, showing how to make the journal. Um, some people have done them bigger. Some people have done them the same size as Steph. Um, you know, it's there as a guidance. Um, and Steph wanted it to be for people that are new to art journaling um, to take part. And sometimes a bigger page is quite daunting. Um, so to have a smaller page, um, it makes it harder as well. And it's the first time I've done it with a prompt. Um, Steph has wrote down some prompts and others have included some prompts as well. So these are the prompts that Steph will be choosing from and she will be picking them out of her tub um, every fortnight. Um, so I will link Steph's channel um, in the description box um, and I will put the hashtag up as well and I should have wrote that down maybe before. I might actually put that there so I remember um, of what the prompt is. Um, so that's it for me for now. Um, Hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Um, I'm looking forward to the next prompt. I think I've seen most people's um, art journals, but I will put the prompt in, uh, the hashtag in myself uh, <clears throat> to see if there's any I've missed so far. Um, so that's it for me for now. Take care, stay safe. I hope you have an enjoyable evening and I hope you all have a good crafty week. Um, bye for now.